the center fielder. So a big Andrew. spot here in stepping in Andrew McCutcheon as he'll hit with the go ahead run at third and two away. And that's inside for a ball one and oh. Popped him up. Goldschmidt is there as he makes the catch and they'll tight rope out of danger as he strands the bases loaded. Phillies leave him loaded. Score remains deadlocked at one. Here's Matt Carpenter. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the Lead side off. last Four, inning. Six, How did they get to him here? The I'm not sure, Matt, that they want Matt. to stay as patient. He's been Carpenter. throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. His career numbers against Hector Neris. He's one for two. A ball and a strike now. Now the one and one pitch. Scorched the third. And he can't come up with it. And a good effort as he's able to gather it in and make the play for the first down. Well, if you're going to bobble the ball, you have to Number hope it's seven. when a guy is lumbering down the base pass. He's no speedster, so that was a good job to stay calm and make the recovery throw. Hey. Slider gets the outside. That's a strike. One out, nobody on. Lifts it into the air to shallow center. Harper coming on. He makes the play. Really had to hustle to get to that one. Two gone now. The right fielder, number 48. Harrison. Stepping in Bader. and ready for another shot. Harrison Bader. It was a backwards K, a strikeout looking for him in his last oh, at bat. Close there, but he doesn't get the call with the breaking ball. And that one right down Main Street. Bases are empty here with two men out. Uh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. You know what that ugly swing tells me right there? This guy's got his good slider work, and that thing's got depth and bite. Harper is there to make the catch, and that means we've got more baseball ahead. Down in order go the Cardinals. Still tied one apiece. Now the skipper's on his way out Your toward the home plate please. area, and I believe the that means we're going to have a double switch here. Carlos now Martinez takes the hill the now to begin the lucky 13th inning. inning. Carlos Digging in Martinez. to try it again. Michael Franco, his head-to-head -head numbers against Carlos Martinez. He's 0 for 8. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Left fielder giving chase. He gets there and makes the play for the first down. Jay Bruce will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Pinch hitting for the Phillies. Number 23, Jay Bruce. Bases are empty, one man out. And he fouls this one off. Two quick strikes, and now the 0-2. A swing and a miss for out number two, and a ball he had no chance of making contact with. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Gene Segura. He's looking for his third hit of the ball game here. Smoke toward third. And just past his outstretched glove into left, the base hit. This guy came into today absolutely on fire, and nothing has now, changed. He looks base. seriously Take hitterish off. at the dish right now. Remember. That's his third knock of the game. In now, Cesar Hernandez. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. There are two gone and the possible go ahead run at first.
Ready with the 0 and 1. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. Two out with the possible go ahead run at first. The 1 2 pitch. Not much behind this as this ball is looped over toward first. Oh, and a beautiful diving catch there will end the inning as the side is retired. Who says first base is where they hide the guys that can't play the field? Don't leave us now. Juan Nicasio enters the game now as he'll get the responsibility of trying to send this one to a 14th inning. Nicasio. Digging in, Matt Wieters. Leading up for the Cardinals, the catcher, Matt. He says, here it comes. Strike taken as that one crosses over the inside part of the plate. Boy, he comes back with a beautiful pitch there, and he's dominating this at bat. It's 0-2 now. Here's the pitch. And he looks at a cold strike three as the cut fastball's in there, and that's out number one. Now batting. Number 19. Swung on and missed. It's 0-1. One out, nobody on. Grounded up the first baseline, but that'll get foul. It's 0-2 now. Here comes the nothing and two pitch. Pulled toward right center field. McCutcheon comes on now and makes the catch in shallow center for round number two. Up next for the Cardinal, the second baseman. Striding in once again, Colton Wong. His lifetime line against Nicasio. He's one for four. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Popped up. Swing and a miss on the slider, and he's quickly behind. Nothing in two. Hit down the line at first, but a foul ball, and the count holds it 0 2. Slider laid off for a ball. And he strikes him out to retire the side, so we'll play at least one more. One, two, three. Your John Brebbia comes on now, and he's now just hoping to keep this target. thing tied. No save Number opportunity 60. here. John Brebbia. At the plate, Bryce John Harper. Brebbia. He rounded the bases on a home run back in Bryce. the seventh. Harper. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. Oh, and one the count to Bryce Harper. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. Hey, he looked like he was a little bit out in front on that breaking ball right there. The body can go a little bit. If he was able to keep his hands back a little bit, he might have been able to do some damage with that pitch. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Got to believe the pitcher and catcher understand the fact that he's covering away and he's covering way away. Don't be shocked if he comes in with something. And now a swing and a routine fly ball out towards center. O'Neill is right there, one down.
the first baseman, number seven. Ready now, Reese Hoskins. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. In time to first, and there are two away. The left fielder, number 31. So striding forward now, Corey Dickerson. Last time through was a base hit. Yeah, guys, everyone knows he's been slumping. Dan, you can certainly attest to this, only amassing a solid one hit in your entire career. But pressure's off now. Maybe he gets hot. Check out the lefty as he absolutely jumps on that first pitch and hammers it to right. Got what he was looking for and put a good swing on it. Into the box, JT Real Muto has hit pick on the first pitch and line one back up the middle, and that's a base hit. And he is in there at third as the possible go ahead score. And he needed extra innings to get it, but there's his first hit of the game, and that'll keep the hit streak alive and kicking. And Dero, that's one of the beautiful things about the game of baseball, right? You go extra innings, that lineup turns over, and was able to get him one extra A-B. Yeah, and he'd be lying right now if he said he wasn't thinking about it. The boys hooked him up right there. Pitching staff extended the game a little bit. One more plate appearance, and he extends the hit streak. The 0 1. Popped up. Wong is there and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great. Phillies leave a couple. Score remains deadlocked at one. Called strike at the letters 0 and 1. His lifetime line oh, against Nicasio comes in with six hits in 22 tries. He's taken him deep once. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Popped him up. Hoskins in foul ground. One out. Now batting. Not shortstop. And now the Cardinals oh. number four hitter, Paul DeYoung, oh. attempting to, as they say, get off the Schneid here. 0 for 5 so far. Hey. Outside part of the plate, the changeup is in there. Not too often do you see a changeup come across it. 88 miles an hour on the gun. Still effective when you're throwing a fastball in the high 90s, though. So we got him looking there. Now Paul DeYoung becomes so out field number field. two this Tyler. inning. He's set and the pitch. Oh, yeah. And he takes a pitch right down the middle. Two out, nobody on. Oh, he had him fooled there. No balls and two strikes. I got to count. Oh, and two. The pause and the 0 2. And he strikes him out to retire the side, so we'll play at least one more. So nothing happening this time around. Hang in as long as you can. Another inning coming up, all tied at 1 and 1. Ready for another shot now. Michael Franco. He'll go to work trying to do something about breaking this 1 1 tie. Michael Franco. Here's the first pitch to him. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. strikes in this one. Oh, I love watching a pitcher that can run a good hard fastball in on a guy's hands and completely lock him up. That's such a tough pitch to do anything with. If you can locate your fastball there consistently, you're going to have a lot of success as a pitcher. Number 40. We'll get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Pinch hitting for Philadelphia. Number 40. And 
and it's fouled away. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one and he's down on strikes for the second out. Ready once again, Gene Segura. He's working on a three-hit ball game right now. First offering on its way. Skied into very shallow right. Bader is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. Three. Jake Arrieta gets to pitch in this now, one after all as he answers the call in Number the 15th 49, inning. Jake Arrieta. Stepping up to the plate, Matt Carpenter. His history with Jake Arrieta. He's got three base hits in 37 tries. Two of those hits were for home runs. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0-2. Arrieta, 33 years old. He was a fifth-round pick back in the draft of 2007. Hey, nothing has been handed to this guy. Drafted in the middle rounds. And he has found his way in the big leagues. This has turned out to be a really nice pick. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Dickerson is there and he'll bring this one in. Now batting. The Standing pitcher. in, John, John. Brebbia. Brebbia. He'll ball. start him with a breaking ball. Too low now that time. Out. It's ball one. The 1-1 one, one home. Misses above the zone for a ball. Well, these are just extra pitches that are just going to add to your pitch count. He's not trying to work around him, and no reason to, but sometimes you just lose the strike zone for no apparent reason. Segura takes charge out there, and he stays with it for the second out. The right fielder, number 48, Harrison Danger. And that'll bring up the former top prospect, Harrison Bader, trying to avoid the dreaded hat trick here. He's 0 for 5, all told. The windup and the 1 0. And this is just off the outside corner, ball two. Hate to do it, but I've got to question the pitch calling right there. With a guy like this at the plate, you got to attack him with your fastball instead of pitching him like he's a middle of the order power guy. Down the third baseline. Well, this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. Skied into straightaway right. Harper is there to make the catch, and that means we've got. Ready for another chance? Cesar Hernandez. And he'll be the one to begin the inning. The second baseman. Cesar. First pitch on its way. Oh, he chased a bad pitch that time. It's strike one. Hey, when I see a swing like that, this guy made up his mind before that pitcher even came set. He was pulling the trigger no matter what. One and one. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Checked his swing there, and did he go? No, he did not, says the third base umpire. Ball two. The 2-1 home. Hit softly down the line at first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Now batting. Right fielder. Boy. Digging in once again. Bryce Harper. Two hits and six tries for him thus far. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And it's a foul ball. Set. Here's the 0-1 down the first baseline. Bases are empty, one man out. Might have been looking to find that outside corner, but he couldn't quite get it there. It's one and two. And he held up 
up in time, but it's strike three called, and there are two down. Pulled him just enough with that pitch to get him to go around, according to the umpire. Sometimes it can be really tough for these big, strong guys because once they're committed to swinging, it's hard for them to slow their swings down, and that appeared to be the case there. Into the box now, Reese Hoskins sent in the air out to straightaway center. O'Neill will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Phillies down in order. Score remains tied one to one. Here's the catcher Matt Wieters now. His history with Jake Arrieta. A number of meetings. He's one for seven. Matt Wieters. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And there's a strike right down the heart of the plate. 0 and 1. Stepping up now, number 19, as the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. Oh, a ball of no strikes. That's oh, inside. 2-0. Boy, you don't see that very often out of a rookie. That's a 2-0 count, and both of those pitches were really close. This guy has a pretty good eye. Hit softly on the ground to third. And they will get no. He's in there. A very close play yeah, first. That's a big boy. Frustrating from okay. a pitcher standpoint right there. That swinging Whoa. bunt. Almost a perfect swinging bunt made at field by the third baseman. Yeah, grown man hit that ball, Dan. Without question, grown man hit that ball. I can't begin to tell you, though, how tough it is for a third baseman to come in, barehand that off the grass, and be oh, able to good. put a strong throw to first base. Hey, what does it feel like when you get to first after one of those swinging oh, bunt knocks? Oh, man. Get you some. He's got a chance to end this one and send these fans home happy if he can get a ball deep enough into the gap. The There's a breaking ball that he didn't quite get on top of. Counts even at two and two to Wong. Hey, you know in the back of your mind as a batter right here, he's got that nasty sinker. I know it's 0-2, but he might not be looking for the punch out. You have to find a way as a batter to get that two-seamer up in the zone, or you're going to ground into a double play. And that'll get past his outstretched glove. It's a base hit. Throw comes in quickly, so the winning run advances to second now with only one away. Paul Goldsmith. Now a line drive into right field. It's a base hit. Around third and being waved on home. And at long last, the winning run is across to score. Hey, this game looked like it was going to be one of those wild ones right from the beginning. But when you could win this thing in walk-off fashion, what a way to win a ball game. A walk-off win? Not a lot of runs put on the board in this one, but here's a guy that found a way to make a difference. He's the tops player of the game. Yeah, he winds up with a couple of hits, one of which was a triple, and he played a big part in leading these guys to victory. Our he swung the bat really well.